I'm assuming is going to be hard to stay on the ground, but they chose PS2, which is very smart. It's going to give more room to work with. And the kill potential, albeit you don't have the same combos from Little Mac, but those throws can potentially set up into up B kill, uh, kill confirms, such as forward throw to up B, or just raw punishes from somebody being a little over committal and wants to wear holding his ground, waiting for that opening. And it's going to be interesting to see just because, you know, from a, from a strategic standpoint, Lil Mac's going to be able to control the ground, but as soon as they go into the air, that's uh, Ness's time to shine. It's just the uh, unfortunate part. Ness might have a little bit of difficult time because you got that. Yeah, exactly. That trying to true Palatina and Lucina that have all that disjoint and might make it a little difficult for Ness to operate. And where you were just talking about with the, sh uh, the time to shine, with being able to keep air control off stage, both of these two characters between Palu and Lucina thrive at the edge guard game. And it's going to it's gonna be very difficult for him to get back consistently because one time Warrior can't go off there and save him too. But it doesn't matter because they actually took first blood. Yeah, for fortunate knockback, and you know, he found himself right there in the position to make an up air. And loses the stock, and let's see, it's pretty even though overall. Yeah, uh, Wonton Warrior aiming to try and read a jump instead of waiting for a potential confirm coming in from a teammate. And uh, he's going to end up using that KO punch. Hopefully that doesn't cost him, but he ended up losing the stock anyways. Yeah, unfortunate Miss Q, you had Ness going for that edge guard situation but it was knocked right into the up smash. And miscues, but when your opposing team decides to take each other out, then you'll take that as well. That was uh, not exactly what Hack wanted. He's going to take out Odyssey stock. Oh, the edge guards are coming out. Yeah, green team looked like they're in a little bit of trouble. There was an unfortunate could be, could be by the blue team with their teammate, but, you know. Big good, damage overall. Uh, good defense from Stir as well. You know, you see Odyssey's consistently throwing them off stage, and that's also another good coverage from Hakuru, just keeping it simple. And that's going to also lead to the death of Stir. So I was talking before about his good recovery throwing up PK Fire, when instead he ends up getting capitalized on afterwards. The blue team seems to be getting their footing now. Right, yeah, it's kind of going back to the tried and true game plan. Get them off stage and edge guard them. And both those characters just struggling in that situation overall. And kind of why a blue team's starting to, yeah, that's picked up quite a bit of a lead, almost a stop. Oh, but speaking, as soon as they say that, green team with the response, a little bit of rebuttal on their that own. That was actually good option coverage from the green team too, because of the fact that if he decided to jump anywhere, jump forward, get hit, jump back, there was already an up smash coverage from Stir that was very stressful. So if you decide to stay still, you're gonna die to that up smash from Little Mac anyways. This is big trouble for the green team. Both, both players are off stage. Uh, Wonton's able to get back. This is also great, the great equalizer on board, but he actually lets it rip. That was good setup from Sir, forcing the jump on a hack, but the neutral B didn't end up hitting. That KO punch could have netted them the lead. And both players had a read on a forward smash right there. It was Lil Max that ended up uh, making the hit. And let's see. Sir's battling, trying to battle his way back on stage. Wonton goes and tries to save him. And they have a little bit of a chance. They have stage control. Oh, it did not connect the last end of the down smash, unfortunately. And he had, he was able to get the frame chop on the landing, too. Just dash cancels into the F tilt and actually gets wow. the reversal on the edge guard as well. And what's on Warrior and Stir gonna take that back? Yeah, they were they were they were looking like they were in red bar, the the alarms were chiming, and then they from you know from the jaws of defeat they snatched that victory. And you saw that whole situation too, where he was able to set up the frame trap on the landing. He got him to F tilt the yeah. other way. And because of the fact that Odyssey didn't think that he was going to go punish um, Pekru right away, it allowed the forward smash for the edge guard. Right. That was very, very good mental awareness from Green Team. Yeah, uh, one time we're making big plays, set up that whole situation, and they closed it out. So they take game one. Let's see what changes Blue Team's going to be making coming into game two. And if you're Blue Team overall, you got to think to yourself, man, we were in control of that match by and large for the entire Everything but the last four seconds, pretty much. So. I think a big thing that happened to the blue team there is that sometimes you get green lighted. It's like, okay, we're getting these edge guards because these characters are terrible at recovering, so let's keep doing that. But then they kind of fell asleep on the ground game afterwards. You saw in the last stock, too, when they both died, they waited on the angel platform for a second. It seemed yeah. like they were trying to recuperate. But the green team was able to get the momentum. It was still close. Yeah. But I think they need to focus a little bit more on separating to go for the 2v1 versus taking them on head on on center stage. Sir, so going, almost going for a big player right there. Got very close to breaking the shield of the Piggy Thunder, too. It's like the Nest Special. You know that they're going for it at some point. It's not a Nest Match, so there's a shield break the Piggy Thunder, too. Exactly. Or direct hit. And prop, props again to the way that well, Stir ends up hitting his teammate, but he's been doing a good job of just outpacing their routes. He's not getting caught at the ledge, not getting punished for these air dodges too much on stage either, so I think the blue team's gonna start looking for that. A big counter coming out from Wonton, able to regain stage control from it. Yeah, that's one thing. Sometimes people start to autopilot in doubles to get into that mode of, let's hit their opponent. So that's when you start seeing counters come into play. 
by and large, you know. Hey, there's one right there. Yeah. You said you start getting a little bit antsy at the ledge. You want that ledge trap, and Wonton was able to get back because of it. And he's going to get the down smash on the left-hand side to seal off the first stock on Odyssey. Uh, very elusive, very very good recovery. It's always amazing to see Will Matt get back, but big plays coming out. Lucina cleaning up two stocks back to back. Yeah. Oh, the up air didn't connect. Trying to land it, just uh, putting the points on the board where you can get it. Uh, Odyssey is going to also put a point on the board, but that's the wrong point. He's going to take out a teammate. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, the green team already falling a little bit behind, but of course, as we mentioned, they took game one, so they're sitting in the driver's seat overall for the set. I was gonna lose my mind if that F tilt from Wonton set up a PK Thunder 2. If Stir decided to go above and hit him to the left, he might have died. Yeah. I would have walked away. I probably <laughs> would have. That, that move kills like absurdly. Like, Especially absurd. when it missed DI. It's like you think you're going to the right instead you go to the left. Yeah. But now Wonton where it hasn't been able to get a KO punch at all so far. But it, instead oh, he he's gonna hit one. his teammate. Oh uh, no. <laughs> That's not what you want. And he ends up just dying for it, too. That's an unfortunate miscue overall. And what could have been the great equalizer ends up being the great divider. Agreed. Now, they did have a deficit like this before in the last game. And blue team wasn't able to hold the lead. They were looking for that ups that forward smash, excuse me, is going to be the first point that they need. Green team has done a good job of holding their defense on the ground. And the aerial side is going to take off the stock, too. But that is an edge guard coming in. I don't know if he's going to be able to save yeah, he's not. Gonna not. Might have been a little miscommunication there on the team one time where he's probably hoping Steer would come out and knock him with something, but unfortunately not able to do so. And they're on last stocks, but this is tough. And that's off stage already against both these characters. And, and this is the spot where he has been able to get by because Wonton's been able to keep them from ledge trapping too long. But now he has to play very careful. And you see they're just consistently pushing him off stage. Oh, it yeah. doesn't get to confirm, but he gets the other side. They force him back down. They're edge guarding, and oh, that was a situation he had the footstool. Maybe an opportunity for Palutena to capitalize, but when he got a big lead, he just got to keep it safe, not do anything crazy, and close it out for that game two victory. We're at 1 1. Very strong mental composure from Stern, too, because you're looking down at a wall of a fair as well as a nair that's probably going to catch you the moment you try to right. jump. And he just held his ground in the corner, like, you know what? I know you have to come to me, and this is a very spot, uh, scary uh, spot for me, yes. But if I overcommit, I'm going to get hit. So I'm going to let you just keep trading with each other until I end up getting back. Didn't work, but it was very good defense and uh, a good positive mentality from him at the end. And if you're looking at it from the green team side with the wonton, uh, wonton and, uh, you know, he won game one, and he made the big play at the end. Game two overall, you had blue team pretty much in firm control, but there was that miscue where you hit your teammate with the KO punch. Yeah, that's definitely not what you want ever to happen, and that's going to give uh, a nice, comfortable lead to blue team. They're going to try and run with that. Right. But again, this has been very even overall. Like, right. And running it back to PS2, I agree 100%. This stage works so well for every person on stage. Um, so. I think we're going to see blue team yet again try and take that blueprint they had at the end when they force more edge guards, but be more mentally aware of Wonton's presence. Right, he's definitely been the firecracker on the green team, putting in a lot of damage and big plays. So, but unfortunately on game two, blowing, going both ways. Let's see if he's able to clean that up, because if they do, if he does, you're looking at a green team victory. And they're opening up already, and looking pretty even overall. Big hit coming out from Lucina with a forward smash. And that KO punch is online, and he picks it up. And you know what? You just need it to eventually work, and he was able to get in this game and didn't die to the punish from F Smash, too. Now Blue Team, which is a situation that they could have gotten a uh, kill, now looking at a deficit. Yeah, that's that big play we were talking about. Blue Team's going to have to make some sort of run at it. Yeah, it's going to be that. It's, that. it's that ebb and flow, right? Blue Team has been so consistent overall coming through, and Green Team's just been exploding here, exploding there. Which one's going to win the race to the finish? Slow and steady or the uh, the quick rush? And I like the commitment from Odyssey. He wanted to make sure Wonton Warrior was gone. But now Odyssey forced off in a reverse edge guard situation. And Stir doing a good job of <laughs> not getting his shield broken. <laughs> and he's been doing a good job of holding on the left side of stage two. And also kind of keeping Hack just out of range. Like Lucina does well against Ness, but Hack hasn't really been able to open him up nearly as much. Picks up a dash attack kill. And right now the, the story of the match is being told by Odyssey. Holding on to that stock with Palutena. I like the aggressive approach from Hack there. He's like, you know what? I see you both think I'm going to comfortably get up. No, I'm going to blitz right at you. Allow him to get to center stage, but the back throw is going to take off the stock. And right now all eyes are on Hack, actually. He's in, he's in dangerous percent. And of course, with a little Mac on screen, too, any that could disappear in a heartbeat. 
It's going to be interesting. He's going to throw it out. <laughs> and he held on. <laughs> speaking of disappearing in a heartbeat, just got up and used that armor from the F Smash to uh, just delete pack stock. And, and he held on to the KL punch, too, through it. Yeah. And he picked it up right there. Not enough to kill because they're at super low percents. It's good, though, that his accuracy is getting better with that because yeah. there's still an opportunity for another one. And he gets spikes, but we're too busy focusing on Wata where Stir putting in work off stage. Talk about these bad recoveries. Stir is making them his own. Stir trying to make a late run for MVP of the match on his own team. It's going to kind of want on Warrior Story, but Stir with a big spike. Oh, unfortunate uh, no tech eye there, and he's not going to be able to make it back. So we're back down to a last stock situation across the board. You see, Hack was not able to open up Wonton the way he was looking. Wonton is playing the footsie game so well. And now also Stir forcing the ledge trap from Odyssey. Odyssey can't go save Wonton right now. I mean, uh, a Hacker right now. And one of the things to note, too, is uh, Wonton is getting dangerous. Close to having KO a bunch on the line. Just uh, one meter away, there it is. And yet again, he did that game one. He blows it out again. That'll and you throw it. out that throw. It doesn't matter because he's going to punish you on it. And that KO punch is going to take it. I don't think that Odyssey and Hacker were prepared for the team comp, uh, combination that happened there. And it worked out really well. And you saw he got the grab to, you know, uh, get him off stage. And then Wonton Warrior with the presence of mind. Big play. One hit. Knockout punch. You're going to beat the champs. Got to knock them out, as they say. And the, You cannot uh, let those opportunities slip. When you see something like that, if you let it go, it's going to be bad. And it, that was could have been a spot where Odyssey could have potentially reversed it, gotten a throw on uh, Wonton Warrior, right. and made a run back. But instead, he kept his composure. He saw the opening, and he got the kill punch. Yeah, definitely, definitely good execution and a very good change of pace from game two where he had the miscue. So overall, Wonton Warrior, kind of the story of that match. Stir with the big play at the end, though, with the spike, as we were saying. And uh, the first time uh, so far today,